Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Coach Mike with Elite Performance, and welcome to my channel. Um, today's video, I wanted to do. I wanted to do something practical. I wanted to talk about something exercise related. Um, so, I chose the squat. I wanted to talk about the squat. Now, before I go into what I want to say about the squat, let me explain to you why I chose the squat. Number one, it is the granddaddy of all lower body exercises okay when we're talking about doing a squat you're talking about your ankle joint your knee your hip your lower back and your c-spine back of your neck and all of the muscles involved in those joints are working while you're doing the squat it is really a full body exercise right but it's also an exercise and in my day-to-day -day practice i see done in ways that are going to be detrimental in the long term, right? In the fitness world that we live in today, guys are only concerned with, by and large, not everybody, how much can they squat? The ladies are concerned with how their legs and butt look. And there's nothing wrong with that. If, if, you know, if that's the stuff that's important, that's what's important to you, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. There is something wrong with trading those things for knee and hip problems later on in life right and a lot of, i think that it's misinformation okay i think that you know people just don't know and by and large from my experience right i'm not talking about everybody i'm going to tell you about my experience personal trainers are the ones that cause this because they do this stuff wrong more than anybody else that I've ever seen before. And I think a lot of times people are following them. So I wanted to just talk about a few things, a few variations that I see when people do a squat that's going to cause knee pain eventually and hip pain eventually. And changing these few little things and understanding that doing them serves you no benefit despite what you may have heard there's no benefit to doing any of these things. You're only hurting yourself and cutting these things out of your workout as far as squats go. Okay. So I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm going to show you a few things that I've seen. All right. So the first thing that I, that, that, I, that I see a lot of when it comes to the squat is, I don't know if you can see my feet, but there's an over-exaggerated wide stance. All right. I don't know where the concept of doing that came from. I think it came from some bodybuilding stuff. But that's really bad on your knees. All right? I'm not going to go really technical into how and why. If you want to do the research and look at it, that's fine. But it's really bad on your knees when your feet are that wide. All right? When you're all the way out here and you're doing a squat, you're overloading your knees. All right, you're gonna hurt your knees. The same, and the same thing, you turn your feet out, and you can't see my feet, but when people have their feet wide and they're turned out, you're overloading your knees. You're doing really bad damage to your knees. The same thing can be said when people do squats and their feet are really, really close together. Now what you're doing is you're overloading your hips, and because your feet are so narrow, you're putting yourself in a very unstable environment. Now. There's nothing wrong with being in an unstable environment when you exercise. It's the best way to work your core. It's the best way to work stabilization. However, if you got a barbell on your back, it's probably not a good idea to be unstable. Okay. Um, the other thing that I see done in a squat a lot, and I'm going to turn to the side when I do this. Now, this could be with people doing a barbell squat, a... Um, body weight, it doesn't matter, it's just a squat. What happens is, I'm gonna look this way. What happens is, as the person squats, their head comes up, because they're trying to look forward, okay? Here's the problem. And any chiropractor friend, chiropractor friend that I have that's watching this, please leave a comment. This is your C-spine, okay? There's a natural curve right there. This curve is developed when you're a baby, crawling to develop the curve in the back of your neck, okay? Anything in life, especially something as intense as exercise, that causes you to lose this curve, meaning 
your head's here, here, or any of those things, is bad on your spinal health. So when someone is squatting, and as they lower, they're still trying to look up, you're really hurting your spine. As you squat, you should follow the natural curve and look down. Always maintaining the curve in the back of the neck. Now, a lot of the problems that I've seen with the squat is people just don't know how to sit down. And that's not your fault because you were never taught how to sit down. When you learned how to sit down, you were probably one. You were probably off balance. And sitting down was really controlled falling. And so now you've gotten really good at doing something really wrong and your squat looks just like sitting down. So in a squat first, like I said, your feet should be shoulder width apart, all right? They should not be wider than your shoulders. You are gonna hurt your knees, all right? If you don't believe me, walk into any gym, all right? I'm 44 years old, three sport athlete. I still compete as an amateur athlete to this day my knees don't hurt. If I want to go and do a heavy squat, I don't have to wrap my knees up. Now, if you have a desk job and you have to wrap your knees up, there's a problem with that because I should be the one with hurt knees. I play football, baseball, and I box, and I still do all of these things today. My knees don't hurt. So if you're sitting down and your knees are hurting, it's a clear indication that you're doing something very, very wrong. Now, so, in a squat, my feet are about shoulder, my feet are shoulder width apart. The first move in a squat is to go back, as if I'm going to a chair, all right? Not down. A squat is really more so a hip exercise, a hip movement more than a leg movement. Your hips are what's working, your legs are helping. If you look at it from that point of view, it makes more sense to move my hips first and not my legs and going down. The, another thing that I see a lot of when I'm, when, when I'm watching a client do a, a squat, I like to watch from different angles. I'm going to watch from the front to back to side so I can see all these different things. But another thing that you see a lot of is someone would do a squat and it doesn't matter how their feet are, if they squat, their knees go in. Okay? What that's telling you is your glutes are weak. Because your glutes are what stabilizes your knees. So if you're doing a squat and your knees are collapsing in, then you need to strengthen the glutes and probably back off the squats a little bit because that's going to cause pain in the long run. Now, I know some people might say, hey, Coach Mike, I've been doing squats the exact way you just told me not to do them for seven years and my knees don't hurt. What that means is you're put together really good. The human body is put together well. You don't break down in one day. All right? Think about an a, a alcoholic or a, a drug addict. This, this stuff goes on for years before you break down. So if you're doing something wrong, just because it doesn't hurt today doesn't mean it won't hurt later on. So just keep that in mind. You know, Like I said, we want to see you happy and healthy. And it doesn't matter how good your legs look or how your butt looks or how much you could use to squat when you get into knee replacement. And we don't want to see you with knee replacement. So until next time, I'm Coach Mike with Elite Performance.